Hi, I'm so happy to upload a traveling video in a quite long time. My dream of staying a night in a healthy and green friendly thatched house in Nagam Fortress Town came true. I stayed here and there are quite many houses where we can stay. I arrived here late at night so I didn't take any photos or videos but refreshed and had silky skin and hair maybe because of red clay and water. There is a clean bathroom in a room. I'd like to just stay lazily in a house for healing rather than travel next time. As soon as getting out, I see a luxury thatched house which could be seen in Europe. It's the harmony of the past and present. I envy the owner. It would be nice if I could stay here. It's so quiet and peaceful. This is a gas house too and seems to have been on TV. The place for Crocs was so nice that I took some films. This must have been cold in in the past. It was so early morning that I didn't have a chance to try food. Here's a carpenter shop for experience. Here's a renting shop of traditional clothes. You can walk around taking pictures in them. Now I can see an open square with Kumja Mountain standing high behind, and it looks like it is a great location for a capital. This is called Donghan, where a governor deal with administration and lawsuit cases. When I got closer to film, I felt scared as they looked real. I may not be able to live violating laws. They must be gods protecting the town. Here is another gas house. The next time I have a chance to be here, I want to stay a couple of days just for full rest. Here's a fortune tellers. I can see the fortress wall built with no more big stones and it makes me pleasant. Now I follow the way up to the west gate. Going up the stone staff for a while, I get a clear view. A nice house with a wide yard is looked down right below the street. This wall was built with earth by General Kim Bingil in 1397 in the reign of Tejo when Japanese raiders invaded. After 300 years later, it was rebuilt with stones by General In Gyeong Up, the governor of this town. Walking along the street, it leads to Experience Center East and South Gate. This is for a traditional wedding experience. This is a village well. They dug the shallow well as it was believed that if the well were deep, the village would perish. Turning the corner, a row of houses is in sight and guest houses are seen sparsely. The color of the red clay house is pretty. Stone walls along the way are no less beautiful than those of Jeju Island. Here's another well. A small mud hut with a vegetable garden is lovely. This is a place for a dying experience.
and this is for Korean traditional music experience. And I'm sorry that I missed a shooting set of a popular TV drama. Now I can see Stone Stops and Go Up. And after going up, more steps again. There is the very observatory. This is the photo zone where I took as many videos as I want and looked down at the view because of no one around. It is said that there are about 300 houses in this village and about 120 houses where residents are living. I can see pomegranates. The huts with gardens of thick trees and plants are scenery. Having one of these huts is my dream from now on. Keep going for the south gate. It's amazing for the walls built with common stones to have lasted over 300 years without being collapsed. Going down the step below the South Gate Wall, a pottery which has elaborate landscape is in sight. Pottery, a thatched house, and a garden are harmonious, and I feel the honor's effort. It looks like a fireplace for pottery. The beauty of slowness, loving with nature, and their efforts of keeping all precious things are here, and I feel proud of it with my full heart. I feel like I'll come here often, as if it were my hometown. I think our future is not in getting out of the past, but learning from the past and keeping its precious things. Thanks for watching, and see you soon in another travel video. Thanks for your subscriptions and likes.